A few days ago, Title Update 2.0 came out for Ghost Recon Breakpoint and it introduced the Ghost Experience, which means that you can choose between the regular experience, which is the way the game was launched, and the Immersive Experience, which is what I'm using now and which I have used since that patch. And I have to say, I'm, I'm loving it. I think that that's the way the game should have been at launched, uh, at launch, and it's the the way that I think the game should be played. Now, it there's really two things that this immersive experience contains. One thing is there's no gear score, so the gear score um, is. that your weapons all have a gear score and you basically have to level up through that gear score you have to get higher level uh, gear all the time weapons and also um, other gear what you're um, what you're wearing apparel and i think that was taken more or less straight away from the division it works in the division it, it's a big part of what the division is it's a more technical game where there's a lot of focus on uh, on your gear on everything that you're wearing and I don't have a problem with that in the division but I do in Ghost Recon because Ghost Recon is supposed to be this experience where you you're dropped somewhere as this special uh, forces unit at Ghost and you have to basically survive on your own and, and the whole idea with, you know, having to collect a lot of weapons to, 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 to level up, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's not, well, it's not immersive, which is what the immersive mode is. Um, so for me, it took a lot away from the gameplay. You know, in the beginning I was fine with it, but after a while it just became so boring that, you know, that was really all that you had to do, constantly find these things that you can pick up and then, um, equip them so that you have a higher uh, gear score so that you can level up but that's not what the game should be about the game should be about actually this experience that you have where you know you have to survive on your own so i think it's great that they have the immersive experience now where you don't have a gear score so basically um well i don't have as you can see on the right side here uh, apparel is not part of this uh, because it it's not you know, you don't uh, change that all the time. You you pick your outfit and that's it. Um, so you don't have to change it all the time. So it's not shown on this screen, it's shown on another screen. Um, no, wait, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's actually not <laughs> shown at all because what you're seeing over here was not the things that you picked up. This is um, what you choose that your character looks like. So yeah, sorry said that wrong so you don't have that on the right side you do if you play in the regular experience and on the left side here you have your weapons and you can choose from all the weapons that you found in blueprints which means that basically you found them in various locations in this way it's a lot like um, wildlands ghost recon wildlands that you know you don't have a lot of guns uh, a lot of weapons to start out you can equip uh, weapons that you find from um, you know enemies that you kill but you know that's something that you can use right now you can't um, you can't gunsmith them you can't mod them and uh, once you drop them that's it you know you can't equip them again so blueprints are the only ones that you can um, equip again and again and edit in your gunsmith right so you still have this the ability to okay this is not a good example let's take something else here you can still do tinkering, right? So that's that's the same as, as before. So it's not that you can't do all this technical stuff with your weapons, but it's just that you don't have to go on and on and on and on with looting and, and, and basically with the gear score, you're not really finding the weapons that you prefer. You're just equipping whatever you find right now. There's even now, there's a mode where you can just also equip your highest thing. Um, so yeah, I think this is a this is much much better. No gear score. I'm loving it. The other thing is 
what you see now that you know there's no HUD right I don't have a minimap I don't have uh, the heat map which showed where the enemies were uh, in the minimap uh, I don't have any indications on uh, 3d indications there are actually some like if you put a uh, let's put a beacon here right? if you put a beacon you can see it but you know that makes sense because well why else would you put a beacon right if you can't see it then it doesn't make sense to have it and you do see very few things now you've actually always been able to do this because there's always been all of these options um, if I go to the settings over here it's not really new but they just um, made it easier now right always had the custom options where you can actually change everything in sorry it's this one in the interface so you've always been able to do that but now it gives you this very easy way to do it full interface medium light minimal right so I, I played on the immersive experience except that I wanted to make the enemies a bit better if I go back to normal here you can see on the top left corner of the screen that that's actually the um, immersive experience so but I want the enemies to be a bit better and especially the NPCs were too easy in normal okay so this is the immersive experience I like what they've done here that you can choose from these presets you can still customize everything that you want but the presets really make a lot of sense and I don't want to have this elite one where I have like only one weapon um, for example where um, you know I always get injured when people hit me and it's hard enough as it is honestly <laughs> you get injured very very easily with this one um, so yeah but I think this is a good idea maybe you know once I've played it for a while I'll change to extreme and elite let's see but yes I'm loving the immersive experience because when it's like this when you don't have any help in your user interface it means that you actually actually have to rely on your own senses you have to actually listen you have to actually look very intently on what you see in here and I realized that I was using it as a, as a as a clutch before a crutch sorry before especially the heat map for example you know I always just went to a camp okay there's the heat map I know there's an enemy there so I'm gonna drone it out using this one and then I know when I have every enemy droned out um, because there's no more indications of these enemies that uh, show some heat but uh, I don't know exactly where they are once you've drawn them all out you know their position you can see it 3d and then you can just you know where they're walking around like that it's it was a crutch for me and I forced myself to try it this way and I'm I'm just loving it I think it's so much better this way when you've done it when you tried it this way it just gives you I don't know it's, it, it, it's more satisfying honestly it was too easy before doing it that way and you can complete the game but you don't really have that sense of, of satisfaction of having done a good job it's um, yeah and, and this way that you know you, you, you run into enemies now and then when you're playing it this way that you didn't expect at all you know you get a huge shock and it's it's exhilarating so yeah I'm loving this so anyway I'm gonna show you um, some uh, some gameplay in this mode so you, that you can see what it's like and decide whether you want to try the same so that's an example I didn't know if I hadn't actually used my drone just now and, and used my eyes to see I wouldn't have known that was up there because you don't have that minimap and the heat map that tells you everything so you just have to be more alert and I think that's a great thing uh, 
really enjoying that. But yeah, there's a lot of shocks, and it's hard. The game's hard this way. It's really, really hard. At times, I'm. Um, yeah. At times, I'm a bit annoyed, I have to admit. That it, it's too hard. Uh, this base here, for example, it's hard. <laughs> It's really hard to complete this base, um, but it is a wolf's camp, so you know it should be hard. And I'm saying that it's hard because the first time I recorded this, I failed. Then I recorded it again, and I actually succeeded. But when I was, uh, so this is, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a side mission where you have to find a scientist in there or something and, and uh, lead her away and when, as I was leading her away <laughs> I, uh, I walked straight into a squad of wolves and they killed her they didn't kill me but they killed her so I failed the mission, so I have to do it again uh, if you look at this you can see that I've actually already picked up the unique plunders. So I did that last time with uh, when I was trying to get her out. But uh, yeah, they killed her, so now I have to do it again. And uh, this time I'm gonna try instead to sneak in. And that is not easy. Uh, especially because I think uh, I, as you saw, I set it to a more difficult mode. This means that uh Damn it. okay, okay, now I'm screwed already. Yeah, they know. <laughs> Okay, see, I didn't notice that that guy was there. Yeah, sorry, I didn't notice that that guy was there just now, and you get detected very quickly. hard I have to admit that but you know games being hard makes them more interesting I mean if they're too hard then it annoys you so much that you stop playing but if they're just hard and it gives you that satisfaction that you can do it sometimes if you work really hard on it. That's that's a better experience. Honestly, it's going very well now. It's going a little bit too well. Probably because I've done it three times already. It's definitely not that this is easy. I guarantee you that.
uh, the problem is that once you get hit, you're pretty much screwed. Drones are really annoying when I where the hell did they go over there? Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I'm shooting really poorly now. Well, again, maybe it's just because I played it well. One thing that I really like with the uh, immersive mode is that, <laughs> maybe not just the immersive mode, but when it's harder, no, immersive mode, actually there's one thing about it, you can't use the shop in bivouacs. And I don't really like to go back to Arrow 1 at all. So you can't buy stuff anymore. You can't... There's no shop in Bivouacs anymore, which honestly is a fantastic thing they've done there because it makes absolutely no sense to have a shop in the middle of nowhere. I mean, what the hell. So uh, I think that's one of the best changes they've made. For example, using the water canteen and refilling it is necessary now because it's not that easy to get it refilled. Crafting makes sense now, for example, crafting these syringes. I, I basically <laughs> never crafted them before, I just bought them. But now I craft them. And by the way, you can actually craft anytime. Look here. I can craft it right now. So you don't have to do, be in a bivouac to do it, which, yeah, that's cool. You, you shouldn't have to be in a bivouac to do it. And I think the whole idea of collecting resources and doing all of this crafting, that was actually a great idea. It makes sense with a ghost experience, you know, where you're on your own, where you're in this place, people are chasing you, you have to hide and you have to rely on yourself. and. And you have to live. <laughs> oh shit, one on the tool. Where did that come from? So now you see how hard it is. I thought about recording this clip again, but decided to leave it as it is, because the game is harder this way, and that's how it should be. It'll teach me to proceed with more caution as a ghost should. Thanks for watching.